Archaeopteryx took center stage as the no longer missing link. In 1982, a Harvard neo-Darwinist Ernst Mayer called Archaeopteryx the most perfect, the almost perfect link between reptiles and birds. So case closed. Evolution wins. We, there, there's no God. The universe created itself. And evolution in, over a period of time produced us. So end of case. So if that's true, you can do what you want to. You don't have to give an account to anybody. If that's true, your life has no meaning. You have no identification. Who are you? I don't know. How'd you get here? I don't know. Somebody said it was a big bang. <laughs> life is meaningless if that is true. And worst of all, you don't have any book as the ultimate guide and answer to all of life and eternity. Because the Bible is disqualified if evolution is true. The Bible says very clearly that God created the heaven and the earth in six literal days and everything that was in them. That's Exodus chapter 20. And you say, well, that's Old Testament. Well, now, wait a minute. Jesus confirmed the whole thing. And if Jesus is wrong, we are in trouble. Uh, the idea that birds descended from ancestors, dinosaur ancestors, has two basic theories behind it. It's from the trees down or the ground up. Trees down is that uh, there were reptiles who could climb up in the trees, but they wanted to get to insects and other things they wanted to eat uh, that were moving about on the ground, but they wanted to get to the trees like an owl to get the best advantage and jump off. But when they would jump on them, they would hit their own head. It just didn't work too well. But as they kept it up and kept it up, they frayed things enough that their... Claws developed and some of their forelimbs uh, developed frayed enough so that they could glide a little better. Now that's absolutely ridiculous. How does that happen? There's no way that that can happen. We only express the genetic information that's already present. And, and that has been demonstrated again and again. So that's the idea from the trees down. Uh, from the ground up is the idea that uh, some small dinosaurs wanted to eat certain insects, but they were up in the lower limbs. So in order to get to them, uh, they just kept chasing and chasing. And finally, they, over a period of generations, they would fray their limbs. And uh, amazingly, uh, they developed feathers. Well, feathers are incredibly complex. So anyhow, those are the two theories, the, the idea. And this explains that. So meet the player. Here's the London specimen. And that's probably what he looked like, even though we have a very, very fine, better example of it right here. This was made for us. Notice the teeth in the beak. Notice the claws on the wing. Notice the long tail covered by feathers. So this is much better than the cartoonish display that we have there. And this is, of course, ours at the museum. So this simply says that this intermediate form was regarded as the answer to this idea.